is the power of the entire world in the hands of just a few powerful families controlling everything? Will the Antichrist emerge from this group of people to dominate humanity and fulfill biblical prophecies? I'm talking about the Illuminati, a secret society that originated in Germany in the year 1776. And in today's video, we will uncover what is behind this group, the symbols they use, and the reasons that lead us to believe that everything may be related to the prophecies of the apocalypse. But before we start, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel because every day I want to help you in your walk with God. So click the subscribe button below and activate the bell icon that will appear next to it, okay? Let's get started. According to beliefs, the Illuminati group was created with the intention of establishing a new world order by uniting political, economic, and religious powers. On the 1st of May, 1776, five men gathered in a city in the Kingdom of Bavaria, present-day Germany, and made a pact to create a secret society. This society would be called Illuminati, and the leader of these five men was the lawyer Adam Weishaupt. He was influenced by Enlightenment ideas and wanted to create a new world based on knowledge and education. For this, he proposed something grand. People from all nations should unite in a single belief and create a single form of government known as the New World Order. Since then, this idea has influenced many thinkers and artists in various ways, as exemplified by the singer John Lennon, who wrote the well-known song, Imagine, where he asked us to imagine a world without nations, religions, and wars. The most striking feature of the Illuminati is their interesting way of manipulating people, especially the wealthy, intelligent, and powerful. Proof of this is that shortly after its formation, the Illuminati group already had thousands of members across Germany, leading the government to persecute and imprison them on charges of conspiracy against the homeland. At that time, a decree was signed prohibiting the creation of secret societies in the country and the Illuminati were declared extinct. But let's be honest, brothers. How could the German government ensure that a secret society involving so many wealthy, powerful, and intelligent people would simply cease to exist because a law against them had been created? It is much easier to believe that these groups expanded even more and are now present worldwide seeking to fulfill their goal of unifying the world and gaining absolute control of the planet. According to those who believe in this secret group, the Illuminati's influence in the United States was so significant that several of their symbols are printed on the $1 bill. President Roosevelt, one of the most powerful members of the American Masonic Society, used the design on the bill to include all this information as a clue to new Illuminati projects. Some believe that the heirs of this secret group now manage finances, the press, and international politics worldwide. Additionally, there are still widely used symbols today that would be evidence that the Illuminati exists and is keeping an eye on us. The first symbol, the pyramid. For the Illuminati, the pyramid symbolizes a hierarchy. On the $1 bill, for instance, it has 13 levels that supposedly represent 13 family bloodlines that still control humanity today. Many believe that 99% of the world's population is governed by 1% that holds all forms of information and power. Moreover, these families control 70% of the planet's wealth. Notice that this pyramid is not complete, indicating that the Illuminati sect has not yet achieved its goals in the world, which would be fulfilled with the arrival of the Antichrist and the establishment of the New World Order. The second symbol, the All-Seeing Eye. This is the symbol most associated with the secret group Illuminati, present in various places and also on the American $1 bills, which bear the inscription 1776, the year of the United States independence, and coincidentally, the year of the Illuminati's founding. The all-seeing eye symbolizes the great architect who observes everything we do. The third symbol, the eternal flame. The flame is perhaps the strongest symbol of the Illuminati, conveying the idea that the members of this secret group are the true enlightened ones. It is no coincidence that the Statue of Liberty, created by the Freemason Frederick Bartholdi, carries a torch. For many, it represents the establishment of the New World Order. The fourth symbol, the Owl. The Owl is typically associated with knowledge. This is because the Owl was the symbol of Minerva, the goddess of wisdom. The Illuminati, as the name suggests, 
consider themselves the most enlightened and wise individuals on the planet. The fifth symbol, the obelisk. In pagan cultures, obelisks symbolize authority's control over the people. The Illuminati uses obelisks to represent their unparalleled and immense power, placing them in almost every major city worldwide. How many times have you admired an obelisk without suspecting that it could be a symbol of this group? The sixth symbol, the pentagram. The inverted pentagram is known for its association with the occult and satanic rituals. Originally a talisman against demons, today it is seen as a symbol of evil, even used by Satanists. In the year 1791, the President of the United States, George Washington, hired the Freemason Pierre Charles L'Enfant to design the capital of the country, Washington, D.C., on the city map. A version of the inverted pentagram can be observed. The seventh symbol, the number 666. The number 666 is the number or mark of the beast, associated with the Antichrist and is used by many public figures as a homage to the Illuminati. The gesture we commonly make to signify that everything is okay or perfect, according to the Illuminati, is the representation of three sixes. According to scholars, these are the main symbols associated with the Illuminati, visible in various aspects of society. Due to all the characteristics we have just seen, Many believe that the Illuminati aims to establish a satanic government worldwide and that they truly work for the Antichrist. Is this really true? I believe it is. The main thing we need to know is that there is a force manipulating the world and that force is the devil. All groups that oppose the Bible and do not recognize that Jesus is the Son of God who died on the cross and rose again are used by Satan. Consider the warning that the Apostle Paul gives us. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, but every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. This shows that the organization manipulating the entire world is not human, it is spiritual. The devil merely uses people to fulfill his plans. The Bible states that our struggle is not against human beings, but against Satan and his demons. Even if there is this secret group called the Illuminati, they are not more powerful than God, and therefore we do not need to fear them, amen? I know we may feel powerless with so many reports that evil is spreading throughout the world and that we are manipulated by such powerful organizations. However, Jesus made it clear that the devil, the prince of this world, is already condemned. He may try to appear strong, but he knows his destruction is imminent and is doing everything to lead people to perdition. Therefore, my dear brother and sister, surrender your heart and life to Jesus, for only he has the power to destroy the enemy. Let Christ rule your life, and be careful not to lose focus. As the Bible says, we should be prepared for the return of Jesus, not for the arrival of the Antichrist, okay? See what Christ himself said. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch, and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect Him. Amen? If you enjoyed this message, share it in WhatsApp groups. Let's spread the Word of God. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as I want to assist you in your daily walk with God. Big hug. Stay in the peace of the Lord.